I'm interested to see how. For those of you who don't know, like I'm interested to see how SoCal will do in terms of doubles. You know, like this is for those of you who don't know, this is not a, just a SoCal, SoCal only event. Yeah. You know, you could be out of state. We have K9 here from Arizona now. So there's just a name, like a few players. We have. We definitely have some people from NorCal. So you don't have to be from SoCal. Yeah, but yeah. I'm curious to see what doubles team from SoCal will come out on top. That's what I'm interested yeah, in. Yeah, I mean, you if, know? You look, if you're looking at the top seeds, you're looking at Larry, Void, Fall, and Naito, mostly yeah. SoCal. Then you get lower, you know, you start seeing J-Tails in the mix, so Central yeah. Coast. You start seeing uh, K9 and his brother, right? So Arizona. There's a lot of... What, what, stadium? Battlefield Stadium? I don't know. I like it. <laughs> I, I have to admit it's a little weird, you know, it's like, huh? The middle I, platform? It, there? Confused, I, like, I, it looks like normal stadium for all intents and purposes. And then yeah. suddenly you realize, oh wait, it's way shorter. Oh wait, there's a platform up there. Yeah, the platform. Yeah. The platforms are a little bit longer and they're a little bit more elevated towards yeah, the yeah. middle. All right, then, but we are seeing Easy and Houston as the blue team versus Jay and Ricks as the red team. I like how they're wearing their tags. Yeah, that allows them. us to see. Yo, if you're ever playing on stream and you know you're at a big tournament, no one knows who you are. Just put your tag. As yeah. Your tag. All right, though, so far, Jay and Rick's having a difficult time of being at high percents against Peach and Rob. Peach, you know, obviously seen as definitely, uh, it's hard to put characters on a tier list, but, you know, people are oh, possibly top 10. That, was that looked like it was a top 10 thing. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was a sick cleanup. Got the Rob down throw and then up smash and managed it to scoop up the Yoshi as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yoshi and Rob definitely seen as two higher tier characters in this game. Or, uh, sorry. Peach and Rob. Yeah, Peach. Uh, Yoshi also seen as pretty good. Yeah. Not amazing. I think I think people kind of overstated that for a bit, but oh. Dark Samus got something to say. Yeah, you Dark Samus has to say. Talk, talk about me. Talk about me. <laughs> well, that's one of those things about Samus being an Echo Fighter. People are wondering, you know, what are the differences between Samus and Dark Samus? To my knowledge, you know, Mewtwo King did put out a whole video about it, saying, right. you know, Dark Samus has a better role. Sure, roles are a bit nerfed in this game, but when you, when you have two good roles and not a great recovery. Yeah, <laughs> you, the, the recovery's rough. The recovery is rough. The tether feels so weird uh, as, as a Samus mate. The tether feels like it's way shorter. From what I've seen and heard, the tether seems to be the same as it was in Smash 4. It's, it's just visually different. Yeah. And that visual visuals do make a difference, though. All right, Jay's stuck in that grounder, but I like yeah. the fact that Easy's looking for those few up airs. Red team's just kind of getting juggled. They're trying to find a way. Oh! That would have so been close. super crisp. Easy just planted himself at the middle platform and waiting for a confirm to get that up smash. Yeah, he was just parking. Yeah, yeah, he had, to, he had to leave the car there. That will seal out the last of Rix's stocks and Jay. Just one stock. Oh. Oh, oh Jay, I was going to say Jay, you're going a little too low there. You're scaring me, you're scaring me, Jay. Just kill him. Just kill him. Prefer for Peach. Oh, yes. that was unnecessarily stylish. I love it. Yeah, okay. you gotta you know, do it. the unnecessary things every now and then, you know? You yeah, gotta think about like, every, every now and then you just gotta flex. Yeah. I know Peach always flexes, man. She flexes the crown when she hits it with that forward air. Huh? Yeah. It hurts. And you can tell who won that one. Look at these guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one, one team's all smiles, the other, oh, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> all right, looks like uh, this is definitely one of the things you wanna see more in doubles, too. Teammates talking amongst teammates. You know, if you've played, ever played a team game, I know a lot of you have played Overwatch. You know, conversing with your team, seeing what's working, what needs to be changed, that's that's a sign of team play. You know, yeah. you need to understand, hey, you know what, we did good here, we did bad there, maybe make change character, change stage, things like that. And speaking of changing characters, we're looking at a Marth instead of a Yoshi from last time, and we're still on Battlefield, but on Smash. <laughs> it's, it's gonna take a minute to get used to, man, and that's all I'm saying. Like, one, one day we will get used to it. For me, like, you know, if you're gonna pick a Battlefield, like, Please not smash real music. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, so, <laughs> it, it weirds you out. It's like, okay, I, I guess. Oh, yo. He's making a great play early on with 20 seconds just started there. Jay losing the stock. And the blue team definitely showing that, you know, doubles in this game very much alive. There are still yeah. team combos. There's still a lot of stuff you can do. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I like to give a 10. Maybe trying to catch like an air dodge if he was trying to tech or something. Is he sitting up for the edge guard? Oh, oh I can see he yo. finds the gyro there, and unfortunately, Marth went for the roll. There's a, that's the situation. Marth didn't even need to go for yeah, roll. He could have just jumped around. And if you if you look at it, 
you know, that whole time, Houston had Jay at the ledge. There was nothing that Jay could do yeah. to help. You know, you, that's why center stage is so important. The blue team has been able to keep center stage the entire time. And because of that, they're able to get all these team combos and yeah, exactly. able to grab oh. for that charge shot. Well, what, that set that way? That move is crazy, dude. Oh, oh no. And the fact that it's sand marked too, too much far to the left, oh, and he wasn't dude. able to recover. This looks like a wrap. This looks like I, a wrap. I, I, you know, one of those situations where, like, all right, man, just somebody throw in the towel. Six stocks to two. I mean, I don't want to give I'm, it out I'm, for Yeah, I'm, but I'm not one. I'm not one to say you know ever give up. But like, this looks look rough. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and there's a certain point on commentary where you guys say they're getting messed up, man. Oh, okay. Jay gonna take out that first stock from Houston though. We don't get six stocks here. And that's that's the aim of the game yeah. at this point, right? Hey, man. <laughs> let's hey, let's not agree. get six stocks. We, we get six stocks. That's all. Oh. All right. Now we're looking at four stocks. Can we can we make so, it can we make it an even game though? That's the question. I, I, that's the question to be asked. But with Jay being off the stage and Rick's oh. unable to recover, it looks like it's gonna be a clean house over here for Blue Team. Jay does have his work cut out for him. One grab is pretty much death here. Yeah. Oh, oh man! Oh man! Out of that's shield. Nuts. That's great. That was that nuts. nuts and great yeah. coming out from Peach. Um, I wanted to say, you know, they. Blue team obviously came out of clean house. Um, I did see how red team was playing. One thing I just didn't like about red team, like, like I talked about earlier, right? Just finished that my thought. Ricks went for a roll at a situation where Rob had the gyro and space himself. Right. In this game, rolls are a thing, and you know, obviously we're still progressing through the early meta, right? Like we're yeah. gonna have to get used to not rolling, and he's parrying. You know, you can even um, you can even grab break now, things like that. But in that situation, you don't really need to roll as much. You need to start looking at your movement, your options. That's why it's in the game, right? Yeah. That's why people can dash down. That, that initial dash is so quick. And it's mm -hmm. like, you know, if you want to get get away from something, um, oftentimes, you know, that dash is your best option. Unless, obviously, there's a hitbox covering a space. Yeah. In that situation, you know, just dash. Yeah. Just dash. Just dash. Move around. You have movement options. Yeah. You, know, you don't have to press forward. And, and at worst, you know, run over and... Run over and pick the. This, this is this is one of those situations where you're like. Um, <laughs> you're gonna give that back here. Give me this. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Give me this. this uh, you know, worst situation you pick up the gyro, right? Yeah. You, da you dash, 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 pick up the gyro. Exactly. That's what he could have done too. Not only that, you can deactivate the gyro by hitting it. It's you're still committing to going for hits, right? You're down yeah. tilt, forward tilt, things like that. But you don't need to just. You don't need to roll, man. And especially when your opponent's setting up a situation to get a read like that when they know you're going to roll. Yeah. It is a panic option from a lot of players, but I feel that players, if you want to level up, learn to stop rolling, it's still viable. Like, you will say, like, hey, don't roll, but you'll see top players roll. It's good in certain situations where you feel like, hey, they're not going to cover my roll, so I'm going to go for a roll here. Right. right? And, and the easiest way to do that is just to, like, you know, play friendlies with someone and be like, all right, if I roll, I lose a stock. Yeah. And just try to win the game without rolling. You can go the harder route, too. If I roll, I'll do a push-up or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, something like that. That that That's probably the more, uh, you know. I remember when I, when I, the only way I remember that is because I remember I used to play Call of Duty. And if, I was like, if I die, I do a push-up for, for every death. Damn. Yeah. You were hardcore. I was, this was back then, though. This is when Vance used to play Xbox 360 Call of Duty, like, with his friends and for like hours. But anyways, we're not playing Call of Duty. We are playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And we are waiting for the next team to show up. Yeah, I'm gonna ask our boy right here to fix this really quick. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, we are here, and they are fixing something. But yeah, pretty sacked. Uh, big regional. I'm not gonna like we said earlier. You know, 540 entrants. Plus, you know, there's a few more people than we would expect. Oh, and coming up to the stream is going to be Quan and Sonic Mega. Two Ooh. double fires. Let's go, Quan. No bias. No bias. No, good we, good we, friend we, of mine. Hey, I've no, housed no, this kid no. so many times. I, I'm very much a fan of bias commentary. Bias commentary, you know, you get to... It happens. You get to, you get it to, happens. Yeah, it happens. You get to tell a story, you know. There's, yeah, exactly. There's more to it than just exactly. like, oh, if you you know, know, these guys both have a chance. Exactly. And not only that, you know the player, right? So you know their things like that. I know I do it a lot when Arrow... For those of you who don't know Arrow, like, you know, one of the one of my favorite links, great friend of mine, whenever he's coming, I'm very biased towards him. Yeah, that's because go, I know, I know, yeah. Go. 
I'm, I'm cheering the boy on, and I know I want him to do better, so. You gotta have a little bit of goonery, that's the thing. Yeah. Gotta, it, a little touch of goonery yeah. in your life. Changed Every it. good commentator's got like a, a couple sprinkles of goonery. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a Christmas cookie. Yeah. You got the frosting, that's your base layer, right? That's your good commentator.